welcome back. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. My name is Jalissa, and if you're not new, thank you for coming. So for today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit crazy, but I'm really excited about it. But before I begin showing you guys what today's video is about, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I promise you I'm not as boring as I look right now. It's just that sometimes I don't know what to say to you guys, but, but I'm getting better, I promise. So subscribe. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let's just get right into the video. So I'm sure you guys have obviously heard all over social media about the Scylla sponge. It's just like this silicone sponge type thing. I just spit. Apparently it doesn't like use so much product like a beauty blender does or a beauty sponge. But weirdly enough, like it hasn't caught my attention too much so I haven't wanted to purchase it. And I don't know, like apparently it's not that expensive. Like I've heard some reviews saying that they found it for like $10. Like I haven't heard anybody say that it's more than 10 bucks. But the other day I was watching a video of a Hispanic beauty guru. She was showing us a bunch of like weird ways to apply your foundation that makes it look flawless. And in the video she like did it with a spoon, with a balloon, and like she just did a bunch of like different ones. It my attention so much because they were all items that like you make at home like she didn't purchase any of these things and so like I tried a couple of them but there was a one specific one that caught my attention so much and I want to show it to you guys because she is Hispanic like a lot of people I know don't speak Spanish and I haven't seen any videos of anything like that in English so I was like well let me do it in English even though you don't need to speak Spanish to understand what she was doing in the video because makeup is like a show thing not a tell thing but anyway I'm gonna do it anyway because I loved it so much and I hope you guys like it too and let me tell you guys what you need so the first thing that you're gonna need is just a beauty sponge this one's just like a dollar one that I got and it's really dirty but it doesn't matter because we're gonna be covering it with the next thing that you're gonna need which is plastic wrap <laughs> So the reason that I started talking about the beauty sponge in the first place was because like when I tried this it reminded me of like a cheap way to like make your own Scylla sponge like a DIY so all you're gonna do is wrap the wrap wrap the wrap <laughs> around the little huevito and then um, you want to make sure that there are no creases on the side where you're wrapping it obviously there's gonna be creases on the other side but it's okay and then I'm just gonna roll it to make sure it stays put and so I can have a handle of it and this is what it should look like in order to show you guys this I don't want to use like too thin of a foundation I was gonna use my Giorgio Armani luminous silk but I wanted to do something a little bit thicker so I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Born this way um, not that you guys care but I am in the shade light beige I think it's kinda dark for me so if it is don't judge me I don't know nobody ever color tests me right ever so we're just gonna do this guys I swear to you I loved how this turned out and you guys need to try this it's so inexpensive you can use any freaking sponge that you already own like I just love it I'm just gonna use the top of my ABH lip palette to like put my foundation on there and then I'll clean it off later cuz it's this thing like it's like broken oh okay got it so I'm just gonna start off with one little gallop, gallop, gallop. That's not, is that a word? One, one pump, one pump. I'm gonna start off with one pump. So it's nice and tight and I'm just gonna go in, grab some foundation and start dabbing it in my face. On my face, not in my face. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that noise is funny, but like apparently all of the people that use the Scylla sponge say that this little sponge makes noises too. <laughs> it's like loosening and I don't want it to. Okay, we're gonna keep going and I'm just gonna go apply my full face foundation um, so that I can keep talking to, about this with you guys. I don't know what the difference would be if I were to like continue patting it or if I were to start doing this, but in my opinion, like, I don't think any makeup application is nice if you do it like this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pat it. If you guys wanna try like doing that little swirly thing you can go ahead but I just the way that I tried it and fell in love with it was by just doing it like you would a normal beauty blender okay so before I continue obviously you can tell um, that if I do this with my finger like there's barely any foundation on my finger the wrap actually stops it from soaking in any product which is the exact benefit that a lot of people liked from the Scylla sponge so example one you get the same benefit from using this also Using this, I feel like it does take a little bit more time than if you would have just used the Beauty Blender without the wrap. But if you end up liking the finish, it's worth it. And I like the finish, so I think it's worth it. Okay, guys, so I just finished applying my foundation. And tell me. Tell me. Come on, tell me. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. What do you guys think? Is it terrible? Honestly, in your eyes, it might be. But I love it. I didn't have to use more than one pump of foundation and that's not even the best part. The best part is that like 95% of that foundation is actually on my face. Like none of it is soaked inside of my sponge because this wrap, look at that. You can see 
how almost like back to clear it is. Obviously it's a little bit dirty, but like, just look at that. Look at that. All of the foundation that I use is clearly on my face. I didn't have to buy the booby blender or the Scylla sponge. I just used what I had here at home. It just made my foundation feel a lot smoother. It makes me feel like I'm less caked up than when I use a beauty blender on its own. Like, I feel like this always makes me add more foundation, which makes, like, my problematic skin even more problematic. I just, I don't know, guys. I have no other words to say other than the fact that it's so convenient. You don't have to even use one of these sponges. You could always use, like, sponges even like this and wrap the plastic around this and then you're good to go. You could use it. Just You just need something that's, like, squishy. You can even use your kitchen sponge for all we care. Just give it back to your mom because she might get mad if you lose that thing when she's trying to wash the thrusters. But yeah, guys, honestly, that's all I had to say to you guys today. That's all I wanted to show you. I didn't, like, this video was not meant to be super long. But if you do give it a try, let me know in the comments below. Or, like, tell me on Snapchat or on Instagram or, or anywhere. But, like, let me know if you guys love this or if you hate it. And that's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Like this video if, if you think my foundation looks good. <laughs> and I love you guys so much thank you guys for always supporting me until next time have a great rest of your day, night, whatever time you're watching this Mwah.